Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen March from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And these are common war hens. I know a lot of people are trying to change the name over to uh, the Galanoo. Well, they are part of the Galanoo family, if I recall. Uh, but, you know, once you've been using the same name for a bird for years, it, it's, it's hard to change. And these birds really probably one of the easiest birds to identify if you look at the front it's got a red face shield oh it's got something some food here we go with a little bit of yellow and all uh, they do eat the vegetation if i recall look how cute oh i love it hello little morhen very beautiful it's uh january 2nd it's a saturday it's only gonna be high about 62 so i do have a jean jacket on and i did have to wear gloves earlier now the sun is out it's fantastic so two common moor hens okay but also you know now people are trying to call them the galanoo now what are these these are american coots one of my favorite birds now even though they're real simple and you're going to hear a car coming up behind me in a minute i'm on a driving tour it's four miles long but the american coot you know a simple charcoal gray bird a little bit lighter gray feathers in the back uh, again very easy to identify uh, with the white bill or beak in front and these birds are usually the most plentiful here at Savannah National Wildlife Refuge. And I'll pan back a little bit and check this out. So we've got these long canals. This used to be a rice plantation back in the day. And now look at all the vegetation that's cut down. And this is managed um, in, a, in a way that gives the birds a place to rest build up strength, get plenty of food, and then they can migrate onward. Um, and if anybody ever watches that show Nature, there's a real cool show about ducks in general, and it says that they lose all their flight feathers at one time, and therefore they really cannot fly away, and that's why you've heard the saying, hey, he's a sitting duck, because these ducks literally cannot, cannot go anywhere. And so they have to have this uh, heavy vegetation in the background I'll show you they can hide in these reeds or um you know there's no predators in here except for the alligators and alligators really can go months and months in the winter without eating uh, because they only require 90 pounds of food a day and now you're like wow that's a lot of information Woo! in one video no less anyway so but the alligators stop you know coyotes raccoon fox i don't know if we have fox in this area i know we have uh bobcats and it will stop them from crossing the water so that's where the ducks are safe to grow back their flight feathers and then they can move on so again we got the american coots and the common war hens and oh i should tell you one more thing about the american coots they are not ducks they're part of the rail family fascinating all right everybody we're signing off live it's karen martz have a great day